Okay, folks, let's talk about ESP. No, I'm not trying to read your mind. I'm referring to electronic stability and protection. ESP works in the background, helping pilots maintain the aircraft within predetermined operating limits while hand flying, accounting for roll, pitch, and airspeed. If you're flying an airplane equipped with the Garmin GFC 500 or GFC 600, it probably has ESP. Many GFC 700 autopilot systems have it as well. Viewers should note that ESP availability, protection features, and associated enunciations will differ by aircraft manufacturer and airframe, and that you should review the pilot's guide and any AFM supplements for your aircraft to ensure a complete understanding of these features as installed in your aircraft. These documents are the final authority for how these systems function in a particular airframe. When enabled, ESP monitors for events that are out of the normal operational envelope and applies corrective force to the flight controls. Pilots will feel control pressure, intuitively guiding them back to recommended flight attitudes. That pressure increases the further the aircraft strays outside of its limits. As pilots take corrective action, ESP control pressure fades and it turns off when they return to normal flight. If ESP has been activated for more than 10 seconds out of a 20 second period, the Garmin Autopilot engages level mode to stabilize the aircraft. Level mode establishes a wings level attitude and a vertical speed of zero. When designing ESP, Garmin recognizes that there are times when exceeding the normal limits may be required to avoid an undesired event, such as maneuvering to avoid a mid-air collision or to avoid an obstacle. For this reason, the ESP system was developed with corrective forces low enough so that the pilot can overcome the system if needed. You can interrupt ESP by pressing and holding the autopilot disconnect switch, or CWS switch, if installed. It's important to understand that to prevent ESP from re-engaging, you must keep pressure on the button. Upon releasing the autopilot disconnect switch, or CWS switch, ESP force will resume if outside the normal envelope. In the same way that the system operates when the autopilot is engaged, ESP also operates based on the data it receives from your flight instruments. If the flight instruments are providing inaccurate data, ESP will still use that data to operate, which may provide unintended results. There is no system more effective at maintaining an aircraft in the normal flight envelope than a highly trained and proficient pilot. ESP is designed as a backup for the pilot, providing forces to restore the aircraft towards normal parameters. If the automation is doing something unexpected, you should disconnect the system and hand fly the aircraft. If you want to learn more about automation management philosophy and the functionality and operation of Garmin's automatic flight control systems, check out the links in the description below for additional training specific to the Garmin GFC 500, 600, and 700 autopilot systems.